We begin with the controversy that refuses to die down and this is over the game of cricket, especially the World Cup final which India unfortunately lost to Australia. Now politics continues to rage over India's World Cup final defeat at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. Now after Rahul Gandhi, this time West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has sparked a controversy by calling Bharatiya Janata Party leaders as sinners. She's even said that they are bad omen and uh, that's what follows wherever sinners go. She also said that BJP is forcing the team players to wear saffron. And she ended up adding that uh, had the final taken place at Eden Gardens in Kolkata or at Vankhede in Mumbai, India would have won the finals. Amit, ekono bolte pari. India final jodi Kolkata hoto, Bhavankar the hoto. আমরা জিততাম আমাদের ছেলে মেয়েরা এত ভালো খেলাধুলায় সব গেরুয়া পরিয়ে দিয়েছে বুঝুন সব গেরুয়া পরিয়ে দিয়েছে ইভেন খেলতে গিয়ে বলেছিল নীল পড়া যাবে না প্লেয়ারদের আপত্তিতে সেটা খাটেনি তাও দেখবেন নীলের মধ্যে একটু হাউলুদ লাগিয়ে দিয়েছে গেরুয়া লাগিয়ে দিয়েছে পপিষ্ঠরা যেখানে যাবে সেখানে মনে রাখবেন পাপে কখনো বাপের রেও ছাড়ে না let me take this across to my colleague Kamalika who joins us on the broadcast now. Kamalika, we do understand that uh, Mamta Banerjee is hopping on to this controversy bandwagon that has been started by all the opposition leaders including, uh, you know, the, whether it is uh, Congress party or for that matter the Shiv Sena, UBT. But what's with the belated reaction now? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely joining that opposition call where all the opposition leaders from across India is trying to portray this. Uh, obviously, today is the day when Mamta Banerjee, after the World Cup, she actually today addressed her party workers. And from top to bottom, all the party workers were present in this meeting. So this was the right moment uh, for which this thing, uh, the, the, she stated this because this will be again carried forward by the, by the workers to the people at large. Because somewhere this narrative uh, has been set here too in Bengal by the TMC that it's just because it happened in Gujarat. Uh, and it, it there was there is a process of saffronization in the in the in the in the Indian camp because she also pointed out that the practice is for saffron. She stated also that saffron is for uh, saffron is uh, saffron color is not for politicization. Saffron color is for sins, but BJP saffronizes uh, BJP politicizes saffron color. And she also stated uh, that uh, the people who were present in that stadium they were papi. She categorically used this word that uh, people who are sinners they will face the blue wherever they go now that is also a very uh, that, that is also a direct attack and uh, not only once in her entire speech in two places she stated that india team was very well india team was playing very well but just because it is it's just because sinners were there in the stadium just because everything is saffronized that's why India team has not won and also she has said that the dress, the jersey of Indian cricket team, they tried to make it saffron but some of the players protested hmm. for which the, the, the dress is uh, in the middle it's saffron but it's blue. So hmm. obviously she also added to the entire controversy by stating this. Absolutely and Gamalika, where is the TMC looking to steer this entire controversy now that the main remark has been made by the West Bengal Chief Minister? Definitely it will be taken forward by the political, uh, I mean the workers, the leaders of the party. The fact is not only India team, what we are getting it from the TMC inside sources is the fact that everywhere BJP tries to saffronize. That is the key thing which they are going to take it to the people. And that is the message which has been given by Mamta Banerjee that BJP is trying to change heritage, BJP is trying to change everything according to their uh, own whims. So, uh, but it is not doing well for the people at large. So this is a narrative which is being try, which which they are trying to uh, absolutely put to the people and take it to the people.
Right, Kamalika, keep an eye on this story. This time, Mamta Banerjee jumping onto that bandwagon of controversy ever since India lost the World Cup to Australia. Remember, this is not the first time an opposition leader has commented on how the Prime Minister and his Home Minister's presence at uh, the uh, Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad was also inauspicious. And this time, Mamta Banerjee is adding more fuel to that very fire. She is not just calling that presence inauspicious, she's also claiming that these people are sinners and everywhere the sinners go, there is bound to be that amount of bad luck. Shugandha Majumdar, who's the BJP chief in Kolkata in West Bengal, is joining us on the broadcast now. Mr. Majumdar, what do you have to first say about these comments that have been made by the West Bengal chief minister? See, Mamta Banerjee has made a kind of statement which is quite at par the Rahul Gandhi made few days ago. Hmm. Which is good for this country that uh, the actual face of this leader, leader of opposition's, uh, opposition parties are coming out in front of the people of this country and these, these people, uh, the people of this country will be able to judge the, uh, our opposition leaders and they will elect the Prime Minister accordingly and I hope that this kind of cheap leader and uncivilized leader would be elected as the Prime Minister of this country and Narendra Modi again will be elected as the uh, Prime Minister of this country, great country. Mr. Majumdar, you know, Mamta Banerjee is jumping onto this bandwagon a little late. She, this is a belated reaction nonetheless. But what has been the controversy so far, ever since that defeat that India had to suffer at the hands of Australia? Is the Prime Minister and the Home Minister going into the dressing room of the players, not giving them ample opportunity to deliberate upon the loss and really coming in that personal space which should not have been allowed? That also is the accusation against them. You see, the similar kind of incident, uh, let me remember, mm. uh, let me uh, remember about the, uh, the Asian Games lost mm. in 1982, when India, oh, first India in 1980, in India was the Olympic gold medalist in hockey. And in Asian Games, the everybody was saying, at that time, everybody was saying that India is going to win against the Pakistan, and Pakistan defeated Indian hockey team by 7-1, as far I can remember. So in that match, Indira Gandhi was also present as a Prime Minister of this country. Hmm. And the difference is that Prime Minister of this country at that time left the uh, field hmm. and uh, even did not um, meet with the uh, player. Hmm. But this time, the Prime Minister of this country, uh, he stood with uh, the players of this, uh, this country. And this is the difference between our Prime Minister But and that is what the accusation is, sir. That it is against the rules that ICC and the BCCI also promote for the players' personal space to be invaded upon, cameras thrust in their faces because there's a special waiting room. And that has been their logic so far. We've had members of the Trinamool Congress in the past like Mr. Kirti Azad who's also come on the broadcast and said the exact same thing. See, this is the rules regulation is there. Uh, obviously, that should uh, that is a, another thing. But... Uh, the thing is that the uh, the players at that time hmm. were demoralized. Hmm. It is not. It, it should be appreciated that the prime minister of this country, he stood with the players. Those are demoralized by hmm. this unexpected defeat. Hmm. But this kind use of this kind of word, it is the thing is that the everything is Modi Modi is, uh, is doing hmm. that uh, they have to criticize it. This is the stand of our opposition. Even the good work Modi is doing, they are criticizing this. And this use of this kind of word, papi, panoti, hmm. is it acceptable in politics? And one more is thing, Mr. Ma Majumdar, this time Mamda Banerjee has also raised uh, her fingers, pointed her fingers at the color of the jersey. And she's saying it's a saffronization of everything. Your response to that? If, if you please send your cameraman to the state of West Bengal, hmm. any district, any mahalla, anywhere, any government building is there. You will find that all the government building, buildings, uh, they have been painted by blue and white color. Mm. One kind of color. Why? Mm. Because Mamta Banerjee used to wear saris, you have the footage with you, with uh, that border, that color border, mm. blue and white. Mm. So these people are asking the question, saffron is the color of this country. It's this saffron color is present in the national flag of this country. 
Okay. Can, you may hate the Hindus. That is their line. I, I can understand. Everyone, every Hindu of these people, it is in this country. They, this is understandable for to them hmm. that they hate Hindus. That's why they are uh, hating the color saffron. Saffron color is, is the part of our country's national flag, and it is there in the top. So why so enemy in city with this saffron color? All right. All right, uh, Mr. Majumdar, I'd request you to stay on on the broadcast with us. Riju Datta of the Trinamool Congress is also joining us on the broadcast now. Mr. Datta, a very, very stark claim that has been made by the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mrs. Mamta Banerjee. BJP, of course, begs to differ. But the fact that Mamta Banerjee is calling Bharti Janta Party leaders and workers as sinners, wherever they go, there's bad luck that follows. Why make that statement now? Isn't that a fact? It is a fact that for the last 9-10 years that they are in power, they have completely destroyed this beautiful country that we call India. From everywhere, from giving fake promises to privatization of government properties, everything they have sold off. What India built, they have sold off. And if you see everywhere, it is happening the same. In Bengal, if, if I am asking the people and the viewers of CNN News 18, hmm. if you employ somebody who is working in your, uh, to work in your house, and hmm. after six months, after they have given their labor, their time, if you throw them out without giving their wages, what will they call you? Similarly, in Bengal, for Manrega, for three years on a row, the central government gave Bengal the number one award in the, uh, for implementation of Manrega scheme. And now, after these poor people have given their blood and sweat and they have already worked, they have resisted, they have uh, stopped the funds. Why? Because they cannot uh, politically win Bengal. Is this politics? They, Dutta, they are only, we are still they talking are about the World Cup. But my question to you is, why raise this entire controversy yet again when it was, in fact... Uh, Already so many days have elapsed where the India lost the World Cup. Now Mamta Banerjee jumping onto that controversial bandwagon, making a statement which obviously is nearing off controversy. She's looking for that kind of a response for Bharti Jan from Bharatiya Janta Party. I'm asking what was the need to do it right now? See, I'll tell you one thing. Mamata Bandopadhyay has many better things to do in hmm. life than wait for a response from BJP. Hmm. Frankly speaking, we cannot care less of what BJP's response is. Hmm. But what Mamata Bandopadhyay said today was she has given respect to the wisdom of people of Bengal because we are Mamati Manu Sarkar. What hmm. 12 crore residents of Bengal were thinking on that fateful night of World Cup final, Mamata Bandopadhyay as the leader of the people of Bengal has just resonated that. Simple as that. And it isn't this a fact that uh, uh, India team played fantastically well and won all the games up till the semi-final? Mr. Riju Dutta, so she's also made a star claim. She's also, she's also made a star claim and this was the controversy that had in fact uh, erupted once uh, India lost the game. Was the selection of the pitch for the finals. That is in Ahmedabad at the Narendra Modi Stadium. Now she's saying that had it been Eden Garden or Vankere, India would have definitely won. I, I, again, I am saying, this is what, what Mamuta Banerjee has said as the leader of people of Bengal is what every individual person in Bengal has thought on that evening. Hmm. Listen, above, above politics, we feel for India. There is nothing bigger than our nation. There is nothing bigger than our uh, patriotism. Hmm. We support everybody. There is a young boy from Bengal who committed suicide. Do you know after India hmm. lost that match? Mm. That is how emotional the people of Bengal and the people of country are towards their Indian cricket team. Mm. There is one young child from Odisha who has come, who has lost his life because he could not take the grief of India losing in the finals. Mm. So when the Prime Minister takes credit for all the good things, I am sure he has to take credit when the entire nation is saying the same thing. And what Mamata Banerjee said today, she just resonated what every single citizen of Bengal is thinking. And one final thing, Mr. Datta, when I was talking to Mr. Majumdar of the Bharatiya Janta Party, he would said that the gesture of the Prime Minister meeting with the players inside the dressing room should be appreciated rather than dissed. Because he was there to boost the morale of the players who were very, very dejected after that huge loss to Australia. How do you see that response? I, what Mr. Majumdar of the BJP said that the, it was a grand gesture from the Prime Minister to hold the hands of the Indian cricket players who were dejected that night. I would have 
agreed to his statement if the prime minister would have done the same thing with the farmers who have lost their lives at singu bazar if he has done if he would have done the same thing with the women and the family members of manipur who has lost their family members if he would have done the same thing with the people who are losing their lives on a daily basis by in railway accidents mm. if he would have done that and if we would have shown that that you know that magnanimous personality of his towards every victim of this country i would have agreed to his statement unfortunately he was there for a lok sabha pitch that if india would have won i would have given the cup and i would have taken the credit myself unfortunately in a game of cricket there is win there is loss indian cricket team lost so he lost his uh, you know opportunity to click photographs so that is why he entered the dressing room so that some at least thoda to mileage ho jaye see people of this country has understood people have this country has seen through all these lies and this gimmick mm. enough is enough i believe what mamta banerji said today is what the feelings and the sentiments of the people hmm. of bengal are. all right mr riju datta thank you so much for joining us so the claim and the charge by the opposition remains constant this time it's the tmc and the tmc chief and the west bengal chief minister mamta banerji joining on to that bandwagon claiming that the prime minister does everything for the cameras riju datta there of the tmc saying that he did not have time to visit anyone in manipur but he definitely had the time to do this in front of the cameras in the dressing room where players needed that personal time off to deliberate upon the huge world cup loss let's once again listen into what mamta banerji has accused the bharatiya janata party and in turn the prime minister of আমি তো এখনো বলতে পারি ইন্ডিয়ার ফাইনাল যদি কলকাতায় হতো বা ওয়াঙ্কারেতে হতো আমরা জিততাম আমাদের ছেলে মেয়েরা এত ভালো খেলাধুলায় সব গেরুয়া পড়িয়ে দিয়েছে বুঝুন সব গেরুয়া পড়িয়ে দিয়েছে ইভেন খেলতে গিয়েও বলেছিল নীল পড়া যাবে না প্লেয়ারদের আপত্তিতে সেটা খাটেনি তাও দেখবেন নীলের মধ্যে একটু হাউলুদ লাগিয়ে দিয়েছে গেরুয়া লাগিয়ে দিয়েছে পপিস্টরা যেখানে যাবে সেখানে মনে রাখবেন পাপে কখনো বাপেরেও ছাড়ে না and my colleague kamalika also continues to be with us on the broadcast kamalika we've heard reactions from both the bjp and also the trinamool congress they are of course taking each other head on one important claim that mamta mamta banerji also goes on to make is the selection of pitch for the finals had it been eden gardens or had it been vankade she says india would have won yeah absolutely this is uh, you know this is to be looked by the political prism because she has number one pointed out had it been in wankare had it been in uh, eden gardens then things would have been better uh, india would have won number one second and most important allegation which she made is the fact that everything uh, the bjp is trying to saffronize their way she is trying to stress on that the practice their stress of the indian cricket team players they are all saffronized there she is trying to hit up and not only that she also stated that the main jersey of indian team hmm. is is blue which which they wanted to transfer it to saffron hmm. and the fact that she also claims that some of the players have protested for which only the middle portion of the jersey is saffronized hmm. so this uh, she is actually trying to hit the saffron uh, culture number 1 number 2 definitely she is also joining the bandwagon of another opposition leaders by stating that people who are sinners she stated that the papi she she mentioned this world that people who are papi they have gone and that's why uh, india team has lost so clearly it's politics from the prism the saffronization politics which they have always protested into hmm. they mamta banerjee is also going on mamta banerjee is protesting in that line the saffronization culture and also she wanted uh, she went into that extent by stating that people who were present in that stadium were 